drummingforlife.com. Hey there, it's Vaughn at drummingforlife.com. Aloha, hope you're doing well. Today I want to share with you how I tune my snare drum fast. Now this uh, goes back to uh, years ago, uh, 20, about 20 years ago or so, uh, when I, was, I bought this new uh, Yamaha Maple Custom Absolute drum set, this beautiful, wonderful sounding drum set, uh, which I use on all my recording sessions and for a fair number of my gigs. Um, I got this about 20 years ago and it came with this DVD. And the DVD was about tuning drums. And I thought, wow, okay, I'll check this out. Man, was it a mind blower. It was so easy and it helped me get a great tone really fast. Up until that point, I was kind of like, well, like uh, different ways I was trying and it really, nothing was really working uh, for me consistently. I could get a good sound, but then if I, if, it, if I had to change drum head, then it was like kind of a little stressed, like, oh, can I get a good tone again? Once I learned this, it was all, everything was cool. So I want to share it with you today. Uh, I go into a lot more detail about this technique uh, and uh, really tuning other drums on your drum set uh, and the brushes mastery course at jazzdrumschool.com. Uh, so I hope you go uh, check that out. There's a lot more information there. Um, got a lot of folks that have enrolled in it and they really enjoy it and say it's really helping them to connect their brush playing to uh, that actually learn the brush skills and then connect those skills to actually playing music with other people, which is really what we're, we're doing here, right, when we play jazz. So anyway, I just want to hope you go check that out. So uh, the, the technique that I use is, is really, it's, it's not that complicated, and that's what's so great about it. Uh, before we get there, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and swish that like button and uh, leave a comment for me. I'd love to connect with you. I always respond to all of my comments, so uh, please do if you feel inclined. Now, what we're gonna start off by doing here is uh, we're gonna do, make sure that we go around. You see, you can hear that my drum is very flat. There's no, there's no tone to it. I have a stick in one hand, a drum key in the other, all right? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and just these, just check these tension rods all around. Those are the bolts that are on your, that kind of, that kind of, um, that fasten your, your snare, your drum head down. Uh, and just go around and check and make sure that they're all finger tight. These are all finger tight, which feels good. And that means they're not, we don't want to, want to tighten them too much in the beginning. Really still pretty loose. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, your left hand or right hand, whatever you want and take two fingers and push down in the middle, okay? And what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go around and you're gonna then, you're gonna tighten, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tighten, uh, you can see maybe, you can maybe hear it. There's some ripples in the drum head, all right? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten each tension rod going around clockwise or counterclockwise, whichever way you want. We're not doing a star pattern or anything here. This is really simple. Uh, and you're gonna tighten it just, just until those ripples disappear. All right, it might be a little hard to see them uh, from, from the camera, but it, I think you, you'll get the idea when you do this yourself, you'll be able to see, oh wow, yeah, there's some ripples happening there. And we just wanna get rid of those ripples in front of each tension rod. So just go ahead and, and uh, tighten that down until it disappears. And you know they're all gonna be generally about the same amount of tension, I would say. Some of them may be a little more than others uh, in terms of the, how, how many times you turn it. But just remember where you start. That's the most important thing, okay? I just go around and just get rid of these. All right. All right, I think we're, we're back. All right, so now let's just hear it now. Not bad, right? We're already off to it's pretty good sound. I mean, already you got just kind of a basic tone, which is a pretty fantastic. Uh, so now what we do is we just take one, one finger and you just touch lightly in the middle, okay? Then we want to push down. We just want to get rid of some of those overtones. And what you're going to do is go around and just, just going to go around and tap and just see what the different sounds are. So you hear these, this one's a lot 
higher than the rest. Yeah, can you hear that? Now what I do is just go through and just try to find the one that's kind of really high pitched and just bring it down. Now you can see it's kind of leveled out a little bit. Still kind of high. Let's bring it down a little more. This one's a little high too. Let's just bring it down a touch. Notice I'm not turning it very much. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. See, we're getting there now. Mm -hmm. This one's a little higher. Can you hear that? Bring it down a touch. A little higher. Bring it down a touch. See, now we're in the ballpark. A little higher now. Sometimes when you adjust other ones, it goes back and changes the pitch of the others. Not bad. Now, listen to that. Whoa! How about them apples? That's pretty good. Whoa, 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 whoa. You got a real definite pitch. Fast. Easy. No, no fuss. Now what you do is you go through and you just want to tighten them to the same amount. Remember where you start again. Tighten them to exactly the same amount all the way around. So you tune it up or tune it down. You're, gonna, you're just basically taking that pitch and you're raising the whole pitch up or the whole pitch down. Now we just go through. And just from my experience, I kind of know, you know, basically kind of where it is, what I like. All right. I'll do this here. This is pretty tight already over here, but we'll just see. lower over here. This is a little high. A little low. Got a nice pitch, a nice nice tone already, right? You see that? Sounds great. Sounds great. Now, the other thing I like to test is how is it going to sound with brushes? Because brushes, for me, have to feel a certain way. I do this kind of backward slap kind of thing. I talk about that, teach that a lot in the uh, Brushes Master Course. Let's really take it through its paces here. I'm going to uh, turn off my my mic. All right, let's check it out. One, a two, a one, a two, three, three. enough that's not too bad it's a little bit tight for my 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 flavor so I'm gonna just bring it down just a touch all around just a little bit I don't know what's that, an eighth of a turn something like that I'm not a mathematician all right let's try that Already feels a little better. Feels a little more natural for me, for my 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 taste.
Well, let's take it through the paces. One, two, oh, you know what to do. Sounds good. Sounds really good. I have a recording session here in a couple days and then this is nice. I got it all tuned up and ready to go. So uh, so that's kind of how I do it. Uh, and you know, again, I go into the course, I go into a lot more detail uh, it, about this and also about uh, how, you know, what, how, how I like to tune my drums or relationship to the bottom head to the top head and things like that in the Brushes Mastery course. So go check that out. Uh, but in the meantime, hope that was helpful for you. Hope you're uh, able to use that that technique uh, and I think it's just really effective and really fast and uh, I know you're gonna ha spend more time having fun on the drums and uh, just a couple more things I want to share I've got lots of stuff for you to support your drumming I've got a drummers uh, blog about really about uh, playing uh, about playing drums taking care of your body to play drums uh, kind of the business aspect of playing drums uh, lots of different blog posts uh, to share about that, which I think will really support your drumming. I've got private lessons, of course, uh, using all these different zoom camera angles, uh, which I, I know you would uh, really enjoy, uh, as, as do my, my current Zoom students. Uh, and if you want to sign up for Zoom lessons, uh, that's at uh, vonbarenstore.com. The different packages you can sign up for there, and I'll contact you to schedule your lessons. Uh, I've also got the Brushes Mastery course, as I talked about, and I have the jazzdrumschool.com, which is where the Brushes Mastery course is. And uh, I'm going to have more courses going up there soon, so uh, hope you'll uh, check out some of those as well. All right, so uh, hope that was helpful for you, and uh, as I always say, keep on drumming. Take care. Drumming for life .com.